Mount St. Helens, its catastrophic eruption in 1980, left a legacy of destruction and scientific curiosity. But now, on the other side of the world, a new chapter in volcanic fury has begun. Deep in the heart of the Philippines, Mount Canlayon, one of the country's most active and dangerous volcanoes, has erupted. Towering ash plumes darken the skies, rivers of lava ignite the earth, and the air is thick with uncertainty. The comparisons to Mount St. Helens are haunting. Both are stratovolcanoes with explosive potential, and both are capable of devastation that reshapes entire landscapes. What triggered this eruption? Is this a warning sign of larger activity brewing beneath the Pacific Ring of Fire? And most critically, how are those living in Mount Kenlayan's shadow bracing for the worst? In this video, we'll break down the science behind the eruption, explore its eerie parallels to Mount St. Helens, and discuss the potential global implications of this fiery event. Get ready to witness the raw, untamed power of nature as we uncover the story of Mount Kenlayan's awakening. On December 9, 2024, at exactly 3.03 p.m. local time, Mount Kenlayon erupted in a dramatic display of nature's raw power, sending shockwaves across the region and capturing the world's attention. Known as one of the Philippines' most active volcanoes, this latest event marks Mount Kenlayon's most significant eruption in recent memory. The Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, Five Alks, has since provided updates detailing the eruption's impact, the extent of the damage, and the possibility of further volcanic activity in the days ahead. The eruption was sudden and explosive, with an ear-splitting roar that echoed across Negros Island and beyond. A massive column of ash, gas, and volcanic debris shot nearly 10 kilometers miles, into the atmosphere, forming an ominous plume visible from neighboring provinces and islands. Described as a Frida magmatic eruption, a type caused by the violent interaction of magma with water, the event followed weeks of escalating seismic activity. Prior to the explosion, Fivolks had reported increased gas emissions, tremors, and ground deformation, all warning signs of magma movement beneath the surface. Volcanologists have classified the eruption as a VEI-3 event on the Volcanic Explosivity Index. While this places it below catastrophic eruptions like Mount Pinatubo's VEI-6 in 1991, it is still a powerful explosion with the capacity to cause widespread devastation. The surrounding communities are bearing the brunt of the volcano's fury. Towns like La Carlota City and Can Leon City have been blanketed by thick layers of ash, severely reducing visibility, contaminating water supplies, and presenting serious health hazards. Pyroclastic flows, dangerous mixtures of hot gas, ash, and volcanic rock, have raced down the slopes of Mount Canleon, destroying vegetation and farmland in their path. The human toll of the disaster has been significant. At least five people have lost their lives, with the majority of deaths attributed to respiratory complications caused by inhaling fine ash particles, as well as injuries sustained from collapsing structures. Over 50 individuals have been injured, some severely, as the eruption caused chaos and panic in nearby areas. Emergency evacuation efforts have moved more than 5,000 residents from high-risk zones around the volcano, but over 10,000 remain displaced, unsure when, or if, they will be able to return home. Economic losses are mounting as the fertile agricultural land surrounding Mount Canlaon, vital for farming and food production, has been rendered unproductive by layers of ash and pyroclastic material. Initial assessments suggest damages amounting to millions of pesos, with further losses expected as the full scope of the destruction becomes clearer. Infrastructure in the area, including roads, bridges, and utility lines, has also suffered significant damage, further complicating relief and recovery efforts. Fivolks has raised the alert level for Mount Canleon to alert level 4, signaling that a hazardous eruption is imminent. Scientists have observed continuous ground deformation, high levels of sulfur dioxide emissions, and ongoing seismic activity, all indicating that magma is still rising beneath the volcano. This raises the possibility of more powerful eruptions, which could devastate an even larger area. The eruption has disrupted daily life across the region in profound ways, Local hospitals are overwhelmed with patients suffering from respiratory problems and injuries, while power outages and ash-contaminated water supplies have exacerbated the challenges faced by affected communities. 
air travel has also been significantly impacted, with flights across the central Philippines grounded due to the ash plume posing a danger to aircraft engines. The Philippine government, in coordination with local disaster response teams, is working around the clock to provide aid to evacuees and ensure the safety of those in the affected areas. Emergency shelters have been set up, and food, water, and medical supplies are being distributed. International aid organizations have offered support, as the global community watches the situation closely. This eruption underscores the Philippines' vulnerability to natural disasters as part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, where volcanic and seismic activity is a constant threat. Mount Canleon's eruption serves as a stark reminder of the immense power lurking beneath the Earth's surface, and the need for continuous monitoring and preparedness. While the eruption has already caused significant destruction, the situation remains volatile. Volcanologists warn that this may only be the beginning of a prolonged period of volcanic activity. For now, residents and authorities remain on high alert, prioritizing safety and bracing for the possibility of further eruptions. As scientists continue to study Mount Canleon's behavior, the hope is to better understand its activity and mitigate the risks it poses. This event is a testament to nature's unpredictability and the resilience required to confront its challenges. Before the eruption of Mount Canleon on December 9, 2024, there were several critical warning signs that indicated an imminent volcanic event. Among the first indicators was a noticeable increase in seismic activity around the volcano. Volcanic earthquakes became more frequent and intense, particularly near the summit and surrounding areas, signaling that magma was moving beneath the surface and pressurizing the magma chamber. In addition to the heightened seismic activity, measurements revealed a significant rise in sulfur dioxide SO2, emissions. This increase suggested that magma was nearing the surface, releasing volcanic gases through cracks and fissures. Ground deformation was another key warning sign, as swelling or bulging on the volcano's slopes, detected through sensors and satellite monitoring, indicated that magma was accumulating and increasing pressure within the volcanic system. Changes in the activity around Canleon's summit crater also provided clear warnings. Increased steam venting and fumarolic activity in the weeks leading up to the eruption pointed to instability in the volcano's internal system. Thermal imaging and satellite data further confirmed this instability by detecting unusually high temperatures at the summit, a likely result of magma being closer to the surface. Residents living near the volcano reported hearing deep rumbling sounds and noticing small ash emissions in the days before the eruption. These audible and visual phenomena are often caused by magma movement and gas release within the volcanic structure. Additionally, Mount Canleon experienced minor phreatic explosions in the weeks prior to the major eruption, signaling mounting pressure inside the volcano. Based on these observations, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology 5 OLCS, raised the alert level for Mount Canleon to level 3 several days before the eruption. This warning indicated heightened unrest and the possibility of an explosive event. Shortly before the December 9th eruption, the alert level was further raised to level 4, confirming that a hazardous eruption was imminent. These warning signs prompted authorities to establish exclusion zones and begin evacuating residents from high-risk areas. Although these measures likely saved many lives, the eruption still caused significant destruction and loss of life. These events underscore the importance of monitoring and responding to warning signs to mitigate the impacts of such powerful natural disasters. Before the explosive eruption of Mount Canleon on December 9, 2024, its last significant activity occurred on March 29, 2016. During that event, the volcano produced a sudden phreatic explosion, ejecting ash to an altitude of 1.5 kilometers and blanketing nearby communities in ashfall. Although this eruption was relatively minor compared to the one in 2024, it served as a critical reminder of Canleon's active and unpredictable nature. Historically, Mount Canleon has experienced eruptions that highlight its destructive potential, with some drawing comparisons to the infamous eruption of Mount St. Helens in the United States. One of its most catastrophic historical eruptions took place in 1866. This event was marked by an intense explosion that sent volcanic materials high into the atmosphere, accompanied by powerful pyroclastic flows that swept down the volcano's slopes. These flows devastated the surrounding environment, destroying farmlands and forcing hundreds of residents to flee. Although its impact was primarily regional, 
The eruption's ferocity was comparable to significant stratovolcanic eruptions worldwide. Another notable eruption occurred in 1902, characterized by violent ash explosions and pyroclastic flows that once again caused considerable damage to the areas surrounding the volcano. Thick layers of ash blanketed nearby towns, disrupting agriculture, infrastructure, and daily life. This event further established Mount Canleon's reputation as a powerful and dangerous volcano. Tragedy struck Mount Canleon on August 10, 1996, when a sudden phreatic explosion caught a group of climbers and their guides near the summit by surprise. The eruption ejected rocks and volcanic debris with devastating speed and force, killing 24 individuals, including local guides and mountaineers. This tragic incident underscored the unpredictability of Mount Canleon, even during what appeared to be periods of quiescence. In June 2006, Mount Canleon erupted again, producing a Volcanic Explosivity Index VEI, 2 event. This eruption launched an ash plume several kilometers into the atmosphere, while minor pyroclastic flows added to the disruption in the region. Although less powerful than its earlier eruptions, the 2006 event demonstrated the volcano's potential for moderate to large explosions and prompted the evacuation of nearby communities. Mount Canleon's historical activity invites comparisons to Mount St. Helens, particularly in terms of their ability to produce explosive eruptions with far-reaching consequences. Both volcanoes are stratovolcanoes, known for their steep profiles and explosive nature, capable of generating massive ash plumes and pyroclastic flows. However, while Mount St. Helens' 1980 eruption reached a VEI of 5 and became globally infamous for its catastrophic lateral blast, Mount Canleon's eruptions have typically featured vertical ash plumes and pyroclastic flows that primarily affect areas in close proximity. Mount St. Helens' 1980 eruption caused a massive landslide, reshaping the surrounding landscape and destroying vast areas of forest. In contrast, Mount Canleon's eruptions, though destructive, have not demonstrated such extreme secondary effects, focusing their devastation more directly on nearby communities and agricultural lands. Despite these differences, Mount Canleon's location within the Pacific Ring of Fire, a region of intense tectonic and volcanic activity, places it among the ranks of potentially catastrophic volcanoes capable of far greater destruction. The December 9, 2024, Eruption has reignited fears about Mount Canleon's capacity for even more devastating activity. While its historical eruptions have primarily caused regional damage, the possibility of larger, more explosive events remains. Understanding the patterns and impact of its past eruptions is crucial for scientists, local authorities, and residents as they work to monitor the volcano's behavior and prepare for its potential threats. As with Mount St. Helens, the lessons learned from Mount Canleon's activity emphasize the need for vigilance and readiness when dealing with the formidable power of active stratovolcanoes. The eruption of Mount Canlaon has sparked concerns about the potential for triggering eruptions in nearby volcanoes like Mount Mayan and Tal Volcano. The volcanic systems in the Philippines are interconnected due to the region's tectonic activity along the Philippine Fault and the broader Pacific Ring of Fire. However, whether an eruption at Mount Canleon could directly trigger eruptions in its neighboring volcanoes is a complex question. Mount Mayan, situated about 170 kilometers southeast of Mount Canleon on Luzon Island, is the most active volcano in the Philippines. Historically, its eruptions have been driven by its own magma dynamics and the specific conditions within its volcanic system, rather than by external influences from other volcanic activity. Although there is a theoretical possibility that an eruption at Mount Canleon could affect Mayon through increased seismicity or changes in magma pressure, past events have shown that Mayon's eruptions tend to occur independently. The volcano's internal mechanisms are primarily responsible for its eruptive behavior, and these do not typically include a direct response to activity from nearby volcanoes. Tal Volcano, located about 200 kilometers southwest of Mount Canleon within the Tal Caldera, also follows its own internal volcanic processes. Its activity is mainly governed by the movement of magma within the caldera system and not directly influenced by volcanic activity at Mount Canleon. While there have been instances of coincidental volcanic activity in the Philippines, such as Taal's major eruption in January 2020, 
the interactions between these events have typically been coincidental rather than causal. Ta'al's eruptions are more influenced by the conditions within its caldera system and its own magma dynamics, rather than being directly triggered by Canleon's recent eruption. Canleon's re As for the current status of Mount Mayan and Ta'al Volcano, Mount Mayan is currently at alert level 2, indicating moderate unrest. This includes heightened seismic activity and increased gas emissions. While it is not actively erupting at the moment, its status requires close monitoring due to its history of frequent eruptions. Scientists are vigilant, watching for any signs that could suggest an imminent eruption, although there is no immediate threat at this time. The volcano's history suggests that its eruptions are primarily influenced by its internal volcanic processes. Tal Volcano remains at alert level 1, indicating low-level unrest. The volcano has not been in active eruption since its major event in January 2020. Since then, its activity has decreased, with intermittent steam emissions from the main crater. Fivolx continues to monitor Tal closely for any signs of reactivation, but currently, there is no indication of an immediate threat. The volcanic unrest at Tal is influenced more by the conditions within its caldera, rather than any external factors from nearby volcanic activity. In a nutshell, while Mount Canleon's recent eruption could influence nearby volcanoes through changes in regional tectonic stress or minor seismicity, there is no direct evidence to suggest it would trigger activity in Mayan or Tal. The interconnected nature of volcanic systems means that any new eruptions in the region are monitored closely, but each volcano's activity is governed primarily by its own internal mechanisms. The focus remains on monitoring Mount Canleon's ongoing activity, understanding its potential influence on nearby volcanic systems, and ensuring early warning systems are in place to mitigate the risks of future eruptions. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates on volcanic activity and other natural wonders around the globe. Stay safe, stay informed, and keep exploring the mysteries of our world. Thanks for watching.